we will continue from the previous video in the previous video if you remember we created a button on MFE1 micro front end 1 and we exposed it and then we remote into it from uh, the host which was in port 8080 in this video, we'll start adding actions, passing props back and forth and doing some actions on the props we pass from the host to uh, the micro frontend one. So now we'll just add the state. This is React. This is not module federation, so it's not something new. <clears throat> this is, uh, uh, we'll add here, uh, as you can see, we will just add those, uh, uh, we'll import the use state and uh, we will uh, add it to the uh, the variables for it inside the function and then we will add the on click again this is normal uh, react there's nothing new here and I would make it very simple uh, very quick click it just will say you click the button okay now we uh, need to add to show it on the screen so I'll add a span I'll show it next to the uh, button so make sure you refresh uh, because it recompiled click you clicked the button also on the host you click the button this is the beauty of the micro front ends with module federation you will receive it automatically the moment they deploy <coughs> and then as we move forward I will actually deploy to s3 and the other team will get it automatically. This is what I uh, do I have at work. Some team, they own certain um, uh, fields and they deploy to S3 and we receive it automatically. I don't have to rebuild, redeploy and do uh, other things. Uh, next step right now, we will try to pass uh, parameters back, props back and forth. So let's do that uh, again from the article. The article is on the right side. Uh, I'll just add props. Again, this is normal uh, React. And I'll print, I'll agree it's called value. So let's say print the props value dot value and I'll print times three. Uh, and the article is at times two. Let's just, whatever I received, I'll multiply it by three. So let's test it first on app.gsx uh, inside the um, micro front end one so I'll add five so I'm passing five let's uh, click the button five times three equals 15 now let's do it in the host host so the host we need to pass props in this case so we need to do a change here in the host it will not receive it automatically because we need to pass something from the host and this is what you will do most of the time in real life so now inside the button itself here we will uh, pass value so we'll say value equals make sure you have the right spelling equals let's pass 10 for example so it will show 30 so let's pass uh, the 10 and uh, refresh the host you didn't need to rebuild refresh the host and then click on the button and it will show 30. Uh, so this is the way that you pass from the host to the micro front end and receive uh, the uh, value. So we do actions. So what we have done in this video, we have been able to pass the props from the host to the micro front end and the micro front end did some actions. We just multiplied by three. Of course, we do more actions in real life. But whatever they do on the on the, uh, on the uh, front end of micro front end one, it will show automatically on the host. We just I need to pass the right uh, parameters. If you like this video, please uh, press like, uh, subscribe to receive the latest videos that I put. I'll be heavily invested into uh, teaching the micro front ends, especially with model federation and how to architect and design and I will explain some of the uh, uh, projects I've done at work as well also enable the notification so you be notified whenever in a new video that comes and you will not miss uh, the latest video I will be posting and it will be always uh, using the top of the technologies and this is a very green field still new there's something new every day thanks for watching